So it's the day after all the babies are born. Just gonna keep them in here just for a couple days while they kind of get all their umbilicus off. And so, oh, this one's a little feisty. I really want to keep these guys super tame. Yep, another little striker there. That's not good. I don't want to get bit by a bunch. Oh, they're all striking at me. We're gonna go ahead and see what the next box is. You can is. see all their umbilicus are starting to dry up. So that's a really good thing. But look at how gorgeous they are. Here in the next couple days after everything is dried up and clean, we'll separate them out into individual enclosures. Look at these baby anacondas. On Unbelievable. I mean, they are absolutely wonderful. I couldn't be more excited. Let's go ahead and check out mama. So here's the deal. After a female anaconda or any live bearer has babies, they can be very aggressive or kind of defensive. It's one of the reasons I was a little worried about actually breeding Ivy. So I don't know what she's gonna do. I'm just gonna try to get in here. Oh, please don't bite me. Please don't bite me. Come on, girl. I love you so much. I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. Look at, I'm so glad. Last night when I was trying to take her babies out, she was trying to bite me. This is really one of the first times I've interacted with Ivy in the last month or so, because I've been letting her go. And look, at it looks like she's her normal sweet self. Ivy, you're so amazing, but look at how small she looks. She's definitely gonna need a big meal here in the next couple days. But I'm so happy that my girl Ivy isn't mad at me anymore. It's such an amazing experience, but hey, you know what kind of does suck is that there's still the aftermath that we have to clean up right now, or it's gonna get really stained. You can see Ivy, she's back to her normal self. She was on that side of the enclosure. As soon as I came over here and opened up to clean up this mess, she came to this side of the enclosure. Of course, I need her to get away because I need to clean up this mess. I'm gonna have to go in and actually push her aside so I can start cleaning because trust me this stuff is bad and if we don't get this cleaned up it's gonna smell really bad in the next couple days so uh, we've got quite a mess to clean up Hi, you big girl she's all slimy now too oh this place is a mess it is so gross it's all over the place Ooh, slipping and sliding now Come on, Ivy, you gotta stay away, girl. Come on, baby girl. You need to go in the water or something? Come on, baby, I've missed you so much. I know you probably have missed me too. We'll get you all cleaned up too, all right, baby girl? Nope. Nope. She says, nope, I wanna stay with you, Dad. I am so proud of you, girl. I am so proud of you. Oh, she's not cooperating with me at all. Baby girl, you're so, so hard for me. in the house. She's actually from New Zealand, has never seen a reptile in her life. You ready? Hi. <laughs> so welcome to the Reptarium. Paige is actually going to get her first hands-on with reptiles. And depending how Jake, Mike, and Noah do, she's going to get more than she bargained for. Oh, great. So Paige, you have never held a snake in your life, no. right? Well, today you're going to hold Neo. This is a pied reticulated python that could eventually get 15 to 18 foot. And you're going to have to hold that snake for as long as it takes for these guys to find me a snake that is from the Caribbean. Go. It's the bowling. Oh, that's the New Guinea, that's the Caribbean. No, it's not. What about Dominica? Oh, oh yeah, oh, the Dominican mountain boat. Just like that. Nubbin, nubbin, nubbin. Go, 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 go. That's right, it's the Dominican mountain boa. So Paige, uh, you did pretty good, but I hate to tell you, we usually just have to saw people's arms at that point. <laughs> it's going to get a lot harder. On to the next. And look at her. You know, I gotta believe that she's smelling where the babies were and her maternal instinct is like, where's my baby? And she just wants to know what's going on over here. This will be another good reason why we need to clean this up. She doesn't have that smell and that residue on here so that she's over here seeing. She's like, what's, what are you doing, Dad? So again, gonna have to continue to work with her getting away so I can just clean this place up. <laughs> So I'm literally gonna have to take Ivy out, let her crawl around on the ground. Jake's gonna help me out because there's no way I can clean this enclosure. Her maternal instinct is so big that she's just wanting to be over by where her babies are. She's slimy, so if you grab that side. I was just kinda so slimy. Yeah, she's so slimy. She's slimy? Yeah. So you just set her on the ground, take the back end, just set the front end on the ground. Now I can get to work. Hello? Hello? Have a bunch of eggs. 
eggs here from actually a flame female. Looks like she's on a bunch of beautiful eggs. Bred to this ripper of a male, which is a banana, and she lesser bongo head clown. So let's see how many eggs mama has. Come on, mama. Looks like, oh, there's a slugger up top and a slugger down below, a couple sluggers actually. And she had two, four, six beautiful eggs and a couple slugs. And like I mentioned, things are about to get a little bit bigger. For someone that's never handled a snake, she's about to handle red loaf, the Dumeron boa. <laughs> I told you, it's only going to get harder. You know she never held a snake before, right? I know. Yeah, so you give her the strongest oh snake pound per pound. Paige is going to suffer holding the Doom Rose Bowl, although she's doing a great job. You have to find me a specific lizard that I have in mind that comes from Indonesia. What's up, Walla? No, that's no. not. That's uh, uh, Asian is... water monitor. Go! Go! Oh, wow! That was amazing! Move, Noah! There's a whole bunch of Indonesian lizards, so but you guys nailed it. I think she's choking. I don't know if she can breathe. Can you breathe? Yeah, it's a neat close. Now she can meet Elvis while I find the next animal. This is Elvis. He's our Asian water monitor. Oh my God. He loves to give hugs. He loves long walks on the beach. He likes scratching faces. He <laughs> must. Ew. Did, you Did somebody musk? Yeah. It smells like musk. Yeah, just, you see no, it right no, no, there? No, it's good. I smell it. I smell it right here. Yeah. Did you see? Paige is probably going to regret her visit to the reptarium. <laughs> never held a snake and we're gonna give her an alligator. So as Paige is holding Salt, the albino alligator, you guys have to find the largest alligator besides salt and pepper in the place and bring it here and then you have to answer a couple questions. Bring Come it on, here. Mike, you gotta do it. I'm not grabbing RJ. Deacon, Deacon. He said two gators. Two gators? Whoa! Right. Look at that lizard! Oh. Mike, Mike, open this. I need that alligator right there, Mike. Well, this one's gonna bite me. Ah! Hold it. Come in there. Whoa! Crikey Mikey! Ah! Alright, here's an alligator. Okay. Ah! Watch out, guys! Watch out! 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 Watch that's fine. So now you guys have to tell me what two facts that make an alligator different than a crocodile. All right, that there's the that there's different snout is rounded. Round snout. <gasps> oh, oh, I got it, I got it. Crocodiles, see you in a while. And alligators, see you later. <laughs> okay, good job, guys. So we got all the smell kind of out of here. That should actually break her maternal instinct, which is one of the things I'm the most surprised about. Again, Ivy keeps surprising me every time I have her. I tell you, that's amazing. I didn't expect that at all. <sighs> it's so good to have Ivy out again. It's been so long. She certainly looks a little deflated, but she still looks pretty huge. What I'm gonna do is actually let her kind of crawl up on her own, just so that she can go back in her cage if she wants to. Here you go, girl. This way she can climb back in, she can explore. She's gonna know there's not the smell of all her babies, and maybe it'll make her a little more comfortable. I wanna try to feed her in the next couple days start to get this weight back. Again, she doesn't look as bad as I thought. She definitely looks smaller because she was so huge with 40 babies. Nevertheless, see how she's already smelling around? She knows this is the enclosure. I tell you, it's such an incredible experience. From the breeding to ovulation to seeing her go through multiple shed cycles, to actually seeing her have the babies so quick. And the maternal instinct, not only right after the babies were born, but all the way till the next day. Absolutely wonderful. I'm telling you, what, I'm learning so much about anaconda behavior that I never knew about. No one ever talks about this stuff. It is absolutely fascinating. Next up. Snakes get even bigger. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> okay, well, Paige holds Jeffrey the Burmese python. You three have to get lucky out without getting bitten and bring it over to me. Every time you get bit, you have to set it back up and start over from scratch. <laughs> you can't hesitate. You gotta just do it. Mike, you make him Get it distracted. Keep 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 it distracted. Go, Jake. Go. Mike, come back! <laughs> You guys are too far. That's good, that's good. They like that. Closer, 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 closer. Mike, Mike. Oh! I another didn't get guy. it. I didn't get it. Come Mike. On. Come on. Come on, Lucky. He's got it. He's good. He's good. Uh, He's good. Know it. Ah! We win. We did it. Good job, guys. Now you have to put it back without getting bitten. If you do get bitten, you have to start over. What if you get bitten? Ow! <laughs> start over! <laughs> We did it! Yeah! I love this 
cinnamon girl right here. She's always a good layer. It looks like she's got a beautiful clutch of eggs here. A couple slugs, but mostly good. Bread to this ripper pastel vanilla bamboo spider. So I think this is going to be a really interesting combination. Yeah. A few sluggers in here, a few more than I'd like, to be honest with you. But never Still a lot of the clutch is good. We have, let's see, two, four, six beautiful eggs in 57, 58 days. We're going to find out what's inside. This time you only have two people, Mike and Noah, get to find these animals. Jay and Paige are going to be preoccupied because right now they have to go out and handle Gemma. Why that on your shoulder, on your shoulder. There you go, now stand up. Oh Paige, hey, you gotta stand up. Paige, <laughs> you have to stand up. I'm opening, why did I get Jay? Stand up. <laughs> oh <my God>. Ow. <laughs> Who gave me Jay? I gotta do it by myself. <laughs> You're worse than I am. I'm not. <laughs> you might be right. Oh my God. All you gotta do is just stand there. Make out She's not gonna bite you. <laughs> well, these guys are holding the giant snake. I think Paige is doing a good job. As a matter of fact, for her efforts, do me a favor, go down and hit that like button. While you're down there, hit a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Now that these two have to find the animals alone, I need you to find me three animals. One starting with the letter A, one name starting with the letter B, and one name starting with the letter C. Go! I'll get down with you. It's the shoot technique. Gotta break the feeding response. Remember that video? Oh, I got Miss Betty quiet. <laughs> Good? Yeah! My, go get the sea animal! Watch the blaster button. Oh. That's A. It's tight, hurry up. All right, B, Betty White, C, Cherry Pop. You oh guys won? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Okay guys, you can put her back now. Hey, slow. Oh my God. Oh, it hurts. Faster. Can I get some assistance? I am the assistance. <laughs> that was horrible. I think that turned out pretty well for her first experience. Speaking of out, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button. Mate. She literally went inside my mouth. That's okay. That's hot. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.